Let's bring it down right now. And uh, PennDOT safety press officer Ayana Williams joins us on the phone. Ayana, are you with us? Yes, I'm here. Mm. Hi, good afternoon. Hi, Ayana. Thanks so much. This is Jessica Dean. We're just wondering, wondering what people are seeing out there, what you're seeing, and if people are listening to you guys and staying off the roads. So conditions have definitely uh, worsened throughout the morning and afternoon, um, but we haven't seen a, a lot of volume, uh, car volume on the road, so that's pretty good. People are taking heat and staying home, um, and so the afternoon commute for those who have gone out shouldn't be too bad traffic-wise, but the, the weather is pretty bad outside. Ayana, hey, talk about the uh, amount of crews that you have. When I drive, when I come in, I use 95, and I was fortunate enough to get behind two plow trains, giving them their distance. Everyone was giving them their distance, at least five, six, seven cars behind them. But they are out there. They're doing the work. About how many crews do you have out there on the roads, on the major highways yeah. especially? Yeah, we have uh, 420 pieces of equipment out, so we have all, we're using our full uh, resources for this storm. So we have a, a full call out of our trucks, that's 420 trucks, that's plow trucks and salt trucks. So we definitely are, are well prepared with manpower for this storm. And Ayana, I'm curious because we kind of got through February unscathed in terms of major winter weather and here we are, it's March 7th and we're seeing one of the biggest storms I think we've seen all season. Was that weird for you guys that it came later or does it really matter? You're kind of prepared no matter what time. We're prepared no matter what, you know, winter weather, you know, as long as the winter weather goes, we're ready in winter weather mode. So, you know, if winter was going through April, God forbid, we would be ready then. Um, so, you know, we definitely were not uh, surprised by this. Uh, definitely ready. And, you know, we were on call and, and, and it was not a surprise or issue at all. Hey, and as I mentioned, I use 95 coming in and no matter when the store happens and what happens out there, there's always someone, always someone who's going over the speed limit that's always in a hurry. Have you seen any accidents out there? What's the shape of the roads right now? Well, we do have speed restrictions on uh, in place, 45 mile per hour speed restrictions on those major highways such as 95. So we are advising people to please take heed to those. And the, the speeds will be restored once the weather conditions improve throughout this Philadelphia region. Uh, so if you're on traveling on the major roadways, please take heed to that 45 mile per hour road restriction that's in place. And I'm curious if you guys are getting any reports when I, I was coming in. It's mostly slush and snow, which is dangerous, and you need to follow those posted uh, speed restrictions, of course. But in terms of ice, I mean, that's when people really get into big trouble, not being able to stop or control their cars. Have you heard if it's going one way or the other, or have they been able to get you those sorts of reports? Well, we are. There are concerns of refreeze, especially later on tonight. Um, but there are, is salt on the roads currently. So before the snow started to accumulate, we did have crews out there salting the roads, which is going to help to mitigate some of the snow from sticking initially in that iciness. So we uh, do definitely want people to be careful, especially later on tonight, as refreezing is an, a concern of ours. Yeah. Hey, under plenty of uh, notice for this storm. What type of calls is your office getting right now? What kind of calls are you getting over there at PennDOT? Well, you know, we're getting a lot of calls about, uh, you know, such as you guys, what are the roadways looking like? Mm -hmm. um, and so our, our advice is really that if you do not have to go out on the roads, definitely stay home. Uh, we're in the thick of it now, and, you know, we're hoping that it improves sooner rather than later, but there, there's no guarantee in telling with the weather. So if you can stay home, uh, stay home through the remainder of the evening. Let our crews get out there to do their job and, and, and uh, make those roadways passable and safer for everyone. PennDOT Safety Press Officer Ayana Williams, thank you so much. Okay to check back with you later on this evening? Thank you, absolutely. All right, Ayana, Great. thank you so Thanks. much. We appreciate it. Now, we've been getting lots of pictures from Eyewitness News viewers. The snow is really coming down out there in many spots. Here's a look at West Grove, Pennsylvania in Chester County. Boy, that's a winter wonderland right there with several inches accumulated at that location. And if you have any snow photos or videos you'd like to share, we'd love to see them. Just use the hashtag CBS3Snow on Facebook or Twitter, and they may end up right here on Eyewitness News.